My name's um, Fabian Lloyd, uh, and I'm decarbonisation manager for um, Fonterra's National Transport. Um, we've got Milky here, which is the hopefully the, the world's first uh, electric milk tanker. Um, and yeah, we're just um, I suppose doing a doing a trial with it, kicking the tyres, uh, and yeah, looking at how we can um, basically collect all of our milk off farm uh, and not use any fossil diesel um, in doing so and um, reduce our carbon footprint. Yeah. Uh, and what, what, what area is it actually driving around at the moment? Yeah, so this truck will be based at Waitor, uh, at a Waitor site. Um, and it's got 140 k's of range. Uh, so we'll be operating it within a um, 60 k radius of Waitor um, and operating that on battery swap. So uh, while the truck's out collecting milk, we'll be bringing it, um, it'll be charging one battery um, and when it comes back to site to do its unload, we'll do a swap out, which takes about six minutes. Um, and it takes about two and a quarter hours to charge the battery, which is um, plenty of time for us to go out and, uh, and complete all our off-farm collections. Yeah. Have the like, drivers noticed any differences between? Yeah, so um, yeah, we had Steve Stooks, our driver, um, driver trainer at um, Te Oamutu. Um, he took it out on its first load and um, yeah, really, really enjoyed the driving experience. Um, it's obviously a lot quieter, less vibration, um, and yeah, it performs pretty pretty well to, to the power of an equivalent diesel. Um, so it's about a 480 horsepower equivalent um, and 20, 2800 newton meters of torque. Um, and it delivers quite a flat torque curve as well, whereas with a diesel, um, it has quite a you know, steep um, build up when you have your torque at around sort of 1100 RPM. Um, whereas this is sort of from the get-go, um, so yeah, really, really nice driving experience for the driver. Yeah, a lot less fatigue, and um, hopefully they finish their day yeah feeling a lot less, a lot less fatigued. Yeah. yeah. Any sort of surprises from having the having this compared to the diesel? Uh, not not too much. We did have to have a bit of back and forth with the with the manufacturer just around some programming um, and just making sure it's really tailored to our topography and our um, of New Zealand. Um, and where we're going to be running running the truck as well, because um, we operate at 46 ton with a with a trailer. Um, it just required a bit of bit of fine tuning, but um, yeah, once we got all that sorted, um, and a little bit of fine tuning with the ergonomics um, for the driver with the pickup hose and, and all the rest, because it's just just a slightly different configuration, but it's more of our milk pump equipment and nothing really to do with the truck. So oh, yeah, yeah, it's all performed really well. Oh, yeah, I guess long term you can see more of these coming into the market and used. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, what was really unique about this truck was that we could get it in a in our eight x four configuration, which suits the New Zealand market, um, and, and suits it's our standard for configuration, which is eight x four. Um, and we'll definitely be looking at uh, at getting some more electrics on board um, and other technologies as well. So anything that'll actually just uh, just help us learn and help us um, help us get out of carbon uh, or get out of fossil diesel. Uh, as, as, as soon as we can. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching the video. Check out here another video on an electric truck. And if you feel like it, please subscribe to the channel.